Hey, 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 guys, welcome back and happy Saturday. So if you've seen my other videos, you guys know I'm not necessarily feeling the best today. I don't know what happens. I think I run myself down. At this point, I feel like we're doing almost 50, 60 videos a week. I feel like that's exactly what we're doing. And it, it's a lot. So I think maybe I am running. That's not the point. I'm not trying to get sympathy from anyone. I'm back to talk about Vicki Gumbelson and Steve Lodge because we did a video yesterday about Vicki and she is slamming the hell out of Steve Lodge because she said, well, he used her, he cheated on her, and we'll talk about it. But now Steve is completely denying those claims. He's denying those claims and he feels disappointed. So we have all those details. Before we jump in, if you guys haven't already, go ahead, send me positive vibes, smash that like button, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because, well, you don't want to miss anything we have coming up. With that, let's jump right in. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. All right, guys, so it looks like Steve Lodge is slamming Vicky Gumbelson's claims that you know, he cheated on her, that he used her, and he's revealing that she can't accept the fact that they split, and he's talking about a lack of intimacy. Oh, he pretty much said, if you're going to go out here on these social media streets and talk about me, you're going to make claims that I used you for a political career, I used your platform, I'm dating a 36-year-old, I had her in your bed at our condo in Puerto Vallarta, well, then I have something to say. And this is exactly what he said. Vicky and I ended our engagement and relationship in December of 2020. I did this in person verbally and explained to her in writing. He said, I said it to her. I explained it to her. Okay. We had not been in an intimate relationship since September of 2020. I have been living in Puerto Vallarta in my own condo, not hers, since the beginning of 2021. We remained friends, but it was clear to me that Vicky was still wanting more, and I explained to her that that was not possible. I wanted to move on with my life, and I could not do that with Vicky. I'm sorry that Vicky cannot accept this, but it was time. The absolute lies that she is now spreading on social media is very disappointing and also disingenuous, to say the least. But I cannot say that I'm surprised. She should not be dragging Tamara or anyone else into her lies. With that being said, I still wish her all the best. Do you though, Steve? Do you? Now, obviously this came in again, if you watch the video, then you know this, but Steve had to answer back after Vicky went on on Instagram and said, he used me. He's been lying to me. He's now dating a 36 year old and he is not who he portrays himself to be. No Christian man would have done this. Well, I was reading a lot of the fan comments and fans were going in on Vicky because they're like, wait a minute, didn't you cheat on Don Gumbelson? Is this just one of those classic cases of what goes around comes around? Which is really shitty to say because you don't want to see anyone be cheated on. You don't want to see anyone hurt. And, you know, unfortunately, if this happened with Vicky and she was cheating, you know, on Don Hopefully she would have learned from those actions. And hopefully, you know, I don't know. I, I'm reading the fan comments. I'm reading where people are like, you deserve this. What goes around comes around. I, I get what people are saying. I just feel like if she could have learned something out of it, then it shouldn't have to happen again. I, and I know what you guys are going to say to me. You're just going to say, well, Adam, get your head out of your AWS because karma is a bitch. I get it. She also said, while I was out of town on a business trip, he took the woman to my condo in Mexico. He's been flaunting her around town in OC, making out in public places. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, we heard about this. We heard that Steve Lodge was the new Tom D'Agostino of the Real Housewives of New York, and that he has his own place, just like the Regency, but in OC, where he brings multiple different women all of the time, he's always making out with them. It's always a new broad. And now he has himself a 36-year-old. When I was asking the subscribers, the callers last night on Hot Messy Topics, I asked you guys, you know, what do you think about Steve going after a much younger woman, a 36-year-old? And they said, well, Steve might want babies. He doesn't want to be with a baby boomer. I thought that was an interesting concept because we've never heard Steve talk about wanting kids on the show. So, But to be fair, we haven't heard much from Steve at all on the show. But that's a question I have for you guys. Do you think he'd want to be with a 36-year-old because 
she's younger, it's exciting? Or do you think, no, he wants kids and he wants to start a family? I don't think he wants to start a family. I don't think that was the whole point of this. But I'm sure you guys are going to give me your unfiltered opinions. And since we're not back tonight for hot, messy topics, go ahead and get messy as hell right here. <laughs> Let's keep going. Now, when Vicky first went public with her split from Steve Lodge, she said, I wish him the best that life has to offer, and I hope that he's happy, and he has wished the same for me. I don't know what happened, but this happened not last night, but the night before. That sparked Vicky to go on this sort of tangent on social media and have Tamara Judge jump on the bandwagon. Another assumption that fans were making was that she's doing this in order to get attention to get herself back on the show and knowing that she's single, it might spark producers' interest. Well, Andy Cohen even said, Vicky, you're a catch, and we are going to right this wrong. Is Andy's eyes, are they on Vicky? And if Vicky and Tamara bring it at the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, could they get their orange back? Or has that ship sailed? It's, you know, there's so many questions here because Vicky used to be the whoop it up girl, the one who was wild and out there, eccentric, all over the place. But when she met Steve Lodge, she so obviously changed exactly, you know, how she was portraying herself on the show. She wasn't the whoop it up girl. She wasn't having as much fun. She was a lot more reserved because you could tell it was not something that Steve Lodge liked. So he might have cost her her career, which would cost her a lot of money, even though she makes a lot of money with Kodo Insurance. I'm sure she was making a lot of money on the show, considering she was the OG of the OC and she lasted 14 seasons. It's a lot to digest here, but I want to know what you guys think about Steve Lodge apparently debunking everything that Vicky's saying. Whose side are you on? Who do you believe? Do you believe Vicky? And do you think Steve Lodge is just trying to, you know, salvage his reputation? Or do you believe Steve and you think that Vicky Gumbelson is just trying to get attention in order to get the producer's eyes back on her? I'm so curious what you guys are going to say on this one. Go ahead and comment below. I did want to thank you guys again for another round of Hot Messy Topics. You guys killed it with your unfiltered opinions. We had an amazing panel, and we were having some StreamYard issues last night, but thank you guys so much for sticking with us. Also, I revealed last night that we had Kathy Hilton on yesterday. We had an amazing interview with Kathy Hilton, and I'm the first YouTuber ever to get an interview with her, which makes me feel so proud and excited. You guys have no idea. I've been trying to get this interview for 11 months, and Kathy Hilton made me work for it. She literally said to me in an email, she said, oh, yes, if you want to do an interview, that's great. Just contact my assistant, Emmy. And I was like, who the hell is Emmy? Who's Emmy? So I looked everywhere for this Emmy character, Never found her, couldn't find her. And then I talked to Kathy about it yesterday. I said, did you know how long I was trying to get a hold of you? She said, I had to let you grovel a little bit and work for it. Work for it? I worked for it for 11 months, but it's still Kathy Hilton. So I'm excited and I can't wait to share with you guys. I will be sharing that interview next week when the time is proper. I believe I'll probably share on the day of the part two of the reunion, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, because that's our dedicated Real Housewives of Beverly Hills day. So I hope you guys love it as much as I enjoyed doing it. Well, with that, if you guys haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because, well, you don't want to miss anything we have coming up. Now with that, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.